Okay, so we're going to do the one count drill in a few variations. So let's start with the chopping. So you chop to my neck, and I just parry it down, and we go one and one. So this is a one and one, rear hand blocking, lead hand attacking. We can do this with punch. We can parry across and just punch. Kevin, punch. Or you can chop if you want to do something with a little bit of slicing action with a little more body English, right? So it's a one and one. Another version of a one and one switch feet would be rear hand punching. Use me a rear hand punch and I would do a crossing or kind of smothering kind of thing right here. And you can do this with more forward energy or you can, you can rock and go softly. Now to do it with a little more Tai Chi flavor, we were doing it this way. You give me the punch and I'll, I'll, I'll rock. Keep my arm fairly, uh, fairly uh, in the same space the whole time. And so, you see, I don't hardly have to move my arm. I can just use my waist and my body and my structure. And this is like the pass parry punch or right, yeah. what it's called. But you can do that with a Tai Chi flavor. So that's just the one in one drills. The two in one, two defensive beats is he gives me a punch or something. I go one, two, and then I counter. So I'll give him a hammer. He gives one, two, and I'll go one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you'll see what happens is one, two. You'll switch attacking sides. So now I'm going to block right, left, and attack right. Now I have to block left, right, and attack left because of the nature of the, the drill, right? of the drill. It's a total of odd. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. there's a total of odd number of beats because it's really one, one, two, three, but it's two defensive counts and one offensive. So it switches sides. So that's a two defensive count B, and then the three, the three is the all the Hubot variations. So if you do it uh, the the way Weichi does it, one, two, three, and then punch. They go no from the inside. Sorry. One, two, three, one, two, three. I very specifically don't like this because go ahead. Two, because I take it this way and right, then I right. take it back this way again, which I think is combatively it's not a good idea. Right. Uh, if you give me a round punch or a chop up here, one two, three, that's the, the high punch or the chop variation. You do chop, it's the same thing. Right. But you can turn this into a one count by rolling that. And that makes it combatively make a lot more right, sense. Yeah. Okay. If, you, if he gives me the straight punch, and I go one, two, three, 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 slow, one, two, three, Three. So that's three with a punch, and then with the elbow, he gives it horizontal elbow, and I reach out and pat and slow it down, and I flip it over, and press it, and flip, press, pat, press, and you can do this one with one hand as well. Makes sense, right? Yeah. All right. So one, two, and three counts.